What's up guys? Brett here. I've got Team Associates RC8B3 Nitro Buggy to unbox for you guys. This is their new buggy. So let's crack it open. Shall we? Got a seal. Bam. Team Associates seal. Got a second seal. Got a big old decal here on the box. On the bottom of the box. I just want to see really quick, Team Associated, I'm looking for uh, English. Uh, okay. Caution, this model is not intended for people under the age of 14. Pulls straight up. There's two more seals on the sides. No, it's just, it's just clear tape, okay. Let's, come on. Bio. Side guards, servo saver parts, and bearings for the steering. What's this bag number is? Bag D. Have these little tiny little stickers on here, similar to the B5, T5 uh, arms. This is either front or rear. All of the bulkhead, bulkhead uh, pieces like arms. I see hinge pins. This is the front because there's upper arms here as well. This is like a Mugen style front arm area where you can adjust the caster. It's kind of cool. Uh, not unique. This is radio tray parts. Uh, this is the battery box. I see a transponder mount and hardware. Although it's a good system. The Mugen, the Mugen style works pretty well. Fuel tubing. A wing. This is a hard plastic wing, there's no Lexan wing. We have blue aluminum um, wheel nuts here, axle nuts. I see some body clips and miscellaneous hardware. These are serrated on one side, open end wheel nuts, body. Yeah, it feels, feels pretty good. Not trimmed. There is a protective film on the outside. I think this is a Proline. It says Proline 3450. Predator. Cool. It's a pretty nice body though. I like it. Got a wing button right here on the front. Bag. Oh, this is a very different label here on this bag. This is nice, uh, larger, easier to read than those stupid little labels. Uh, what well we have? Sway bars and sway bar mount parts. Shocks, bag P. Nice, nicely coated shock shafts there. Shock bodies, all aluminum threaded. Uh, a lot of some blue aluminum parts here for the shocks. It looks like it's the spring adjuster nut and then the bottom caps. See some bladders. There are um, shock pistons in here that are black. They're molded onto a parts tree. These are not machine pistons. Funky pistons, probably want to replace those. Springs and 30 weight shock fluid, 37 and a half weight shock fluid. These springs look like they, uh, I was gonna try to say what the weight of them were or color, but I, there's, I can't tell. Can't tell. This is bag S. This is our upper, uh, our top deck, our radio, um, radio trade deck. It's carbon fiber, two mil, two and a half. Universals and aluminum uh, suspension mounts. Here's a shock tower, front shock tower. The shock tower is black. The suspension mounts, the suspension hangers, whatever you want to call them, they're blue and they're pretty thick. That's like seven or eight mil. These are universals too, already assembled. Uh, that's pretty standard. That's how they come. And then there's a drive shaft. 106 millimeters is printed on the, the drive shaft. It's a center or a rear drive shaft. It's pretty long. I'm going to say it's the rear. But I do not know. Oh, show. Okay. Bag G. Here we go. Another shock tower. Same bag. This is probably for the runt. front. The runt. It's got a shorter front drive shaft for the center. Um, it's got to be for the front. Although there's no universal drive shafts in this, 
There are some pinion, there is a pinion gear for the diff, for the gearbox. Fluids. Filter oil, number 7710 for your air filter. Bag B, diff parts. I see three diff cases and then there's a spur gear in here. This is all the diff parts in one bag. Here we go. Two conical gears and out drives. Two, four, six out drives. It looks like these out drives are all the same. Uh, on the Mugen, they had different out drives for the front and rear versus the center. This looks like it's all the same, which is kind of cool. I may be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Here we go, more fluids. 10,000K and 7,000, as well as our upper carbon fiber deck for the steering, and then a whole bunch of bearings in here. These are probably all of our axle bearings. Nah, there's different sizes. These are probably all the bearings, most of them. All of them, most of them, maybe, not sure. <laughs> Bag C. Front knuckles, axles, front bumper. Okay, this is another hard label, H. Look at this, this is interesting. Fuel tank, got a nipple on the top, I'm looking for a clunk. There's a clunk in that tank. Air filter parts, clutch bell, shoes, clutch parts. Woohoo! Banging through it. Servo horns, this is our throttle linkage. Um, some blue aluminum stuff in there, like the little screw nuts. Ooh, these are for the, uh, the, the front knuckles, I guess, these little aluminum pieces, as well as our front universal drive shafts and uh, some front parts. A little aluminum wings that uh, go on the front knuckle that you connect to the steering tie rod to. Not sure of the technical terminology on that. I'll have to check my dictionary of RC. Turnbuckles, rear hubs, and uh, big old ball cups. I don't even think they're called ball cups. Rod ends. Center diff parts, plastic, hardware included. Yeah. Disc brakes, not vented. Although the aluminum uh, top deck on the center diff, that is aluminum here. Okay, just center diff parts, brake parts. Ooh, engine mounts, blue aluminum, that's light. Some countersunk washers for four or five mil screws, probably four mil. Steering Ackerman plate and two posts for the steering. There we go. This is for the rear. Mud guards, A arms. Uh, one piece wing stay, hot body is inspired maybe. Rear gearbox. And, oh, and a bag of hardware. I think there's a chassis brace right here too. The rear chassis brace. Hinge pins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo, look at that. Big old T wrench on there. Allen's. And then we got a little wrench. Five mil and a five and a half mil. It just says tools, that's what it's labeled. Ooh, there's the chassis. Hold on now. Window mass decals. Team associated decals. We have a supplement form here. Let's see. Must be something in the manual that might need editing. First part is about the diff planetary gear. Second part is about the servo saver um, screw nut, the clearance there. Third part is talking about shimming the diff in the housing. Fourth part is about the anti-roll pivot linkage that connects the A-arm to the sway bar. And the fourth part is a racer's tip about the servo horn um, assembly fitment. Fitment? Fitment. So the manual's inside this as well. Oh. Is behind the supplement. Looks like some other odds and ends. Okay, let's get to that chassis. Nice. 
I like this anodized color, it looks cool. So that's it. Front kick up, flat in the rear. No room, uh, no intentions of having like little inserts as skid protectors. None of that stuff. Pretty nice, pretty standard. Slots for our engine, radio tray, servos, tank, clutch bell. It's nice, it's a good looking chassis. Yeah. Got some nice little swirly marks on these machined out sections. This chassis feels light too. Feels very light. Okay. Got it's nice and square. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the RC8B3 unboxing. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. If you want more information on this kit, Check out the link I put down below in the description box. And as always, peace. It was like a one-handed prayer. I got a text message.